Hi everybody, I'm back with another episode. Hey, my name is Tay, and uh, my channel is called Inspire Me. Pretty much, I talk about rel relatable events, um, topics, all from a biblical or godly um, perspective. Um, and today's topic is called Sip That Tea. <laughs> we all know they saying, girl, I got some tea to spill. Mm. Let's sip that tea. Oh, girl. Oh, why she look like that? Mm. Let's sip that tea. We know that I'm um, slain pretty much. Um, but can I tell y'all a secret? Hey, come here. Yeah, you. Come here. John 3.16. You know the King James? King James Version. You yeah, know, yeah. King James. He said in John 3.16, mm, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm. You didn't hear about that? Oh. That's in the Bible. Girl. Mm. Let me just sip that tea. God didn't ordain his people to be lost. He didn't ordain us, his people, to go to hell. He created hell for Satan. But by people sinning and doing things their own way and being controlled and just doing things wickedly, people got to go to hell if they don't follow the rules. They don't follow God's rules, should I say. But pretty much John 3.16 says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, if you think about it, people who love their kids, pretty much almost everybody loves their kids. Well, I can't say that because some people don't. But majority of people love their kids. Would you give your, your, your daughter, your son, as a sacrifice to be killed for this whole entire world? to be killed, to be sacrificed for this this evilness. People could just offend you, say the wrong thing. Eh, I'm not giving him nothing. That's what a lot of people say. I'm not giving him nothing. I'm not giving her nothing. Now you just think about it, your child. Do you think, if I'm not going to give him two red cents, why would I give him something that's precious to me, that's dear to me, that's in my heart, my only child? But you, but God did. He loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son. Y'all like to gossip so much, like to spill the tea. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm. Look at her. Mm. Look at him. Look at his shoes. Here's some real tea. Read the Bible. Discover what God has for your life. Like we all in this world for a purpose, for a reason. We not just on this earth to just wake up, go to work, be a mom, be a dad, um, gossip, um, have an attitude, fight, and then pretty much do the same thing, eat food, then go to sleep. No, we all have a purpose, a purpose on this earth. It's up to you to discover what your purpose is. It's up to you to seek God. Uh, I think it's Matthew 25. I'm not sure if it's 25, but um, I know it's in Matthew. It says, Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and those will be added unto you. You have to seek God. Seek his righteousness. Like, search him. Like, a lot of people like to say, Oh, I'm chasing another God. God, I'm not running. He's not running from you. He's right there. He's standing still. It's up for us. It's up to us to want to accept him. He says it in his word. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. Many people probably believe in him. But are you denying yourself. And actually living for him. You might believe. Like I was a person that believed in God. I grew up in church. 
but my life didn't reflect Christ. Like, like I said, I believed in him. I know he's real. But, like I said, my life didn't reflect it. So, is your life reflecting it? Are you believing him? And, like I said in the Bible, faith without works is dead. Are you putting into action your belief? If not, then you have to search God. You have to look inside your heart and just be real with him first off. And then ask God to come into your life because he said for you, if you have a pulse in your body, if you're breathing, then he has a reason for you to be here. Okay? Don't waste your time trying to pretty much the tea, sip the tea on other people's business when you got your own business to um, worry about. Well, not worry, because God said don't worry, but you have your own business to be focused on. If you're not doing nothing prosperous with your life, that's God filled, then stop trying to find the latest tea. The only tea you need to sip is the tea in your life. Get your life right with God. Search Him. Search for Him. Search for search for knowledge. Search for power. Um that's pretty much just search for him. Because like it says I've pretty much been hearing it since I was a little kid. Um, God's coming soon. And it's, what, 2018? But you can actually tell the time is coming soon. I don't know how much longer we might have. It could be the next day. It could be the next year. It could be the next 10, 20 years. But either way, we have to live our life right. We have to search God. We have to look for God. We have to want God. Thank you.